um, wouldn't that relinquish people's investor resistance? We don't get investor resistance because if we get um, that kind of objection, we identify that we've done this track record, these many deals, people have benefited, benefited from us. If you want to work with us, that's fabulous. If not, absolutely good luck. And that is the lightness of touch and then we move on to the next relationship or we ask them to come back to another investor day. And I think it's just a numbers game because I don't want to change anybody's mentality. I just want to find the right fit. Is that helpful, Colin? <laughs> but interesting. And I think it's difficult when you've got people with a million quid because that's tantalising, isn't it? So one of the things we've talked about in the past is this S-bend that we've talked about. And I see it all the time. Um, and so, Colin, it might be interesting to identify where those guys are with you. So the S-bend is for investors... You're amazing. Wow. What you do is stunning. And by you, I could mean the team. It doesn't, it's not a human being. What you do is just superb. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. That's amazing. That's amazing. This is getting a bit boring because you're just doing the same thing again and again and again. And like you're telling the truth and there ain't no sparkle. And, uh, and at this point, uh, they may go off elsewhere. And um, sadly, they may get the fingers bent. And you can't prevent that. That is the S-bend because you've become consistent, but consistently boring. So what they thought was amazing up there, which is deal sourcing or working in property or being able to manage, manage and navigate the risks, has now become uh, a negative for them. It's like, yeah, you know, heard it. You know, and the shiny penny syndrome kicks in for them. So unfortunately, many of them will go off and get their fingers burnt elsewhere. Some of them will go off and succeed, and that is wonderful. In, in some ways, you want that. You know what, you want everyone to succeed. They, and then they go, oh, it kind of wasn't that easy elsewhere because actually your boring consistency is actually why you're successful. So can I come back into the fold, please? Because actually it's pretty amazing. Um, and that is the investor S-bend. And every single investor relationship you ever have will follow that. So try not to get despondent at this point because that feels like a personal rejection. It's not, it's just a natural human relationship S-bend. Team, it'll happen the same with team. The team will come in and think what I do and what the business does is amazing. And then when I make them make a whole bunch of phone calls and a whole bunch of bits of admin, they'll be like, oh mate, <laughs> is that it? And it's like, yep, this is what makes us successful. And some may go off, some will stay, some may get frustrated and I have to kick their ass a little bit in the nicest way possible. And, and, but then they realize that our consistent high level performance is why we're successful. It's just, it's the honeymoon, isn't it? And the seven year itch and then the honeymoon again. So just be conscious in every relationship, the S-bend will happen and try not to allow it to feel personal because it's not personal. It really isn't. It's just human nature. <laughs>